this right here is proof why sometimes I shouldn't buy a set even though it's only $10. So this McLaren was for sale at Walmart in the Lego section for only $10. And I was like, well, I like McLarens, so I'm going to buy it. I bought it, came home, built it. It was amazing. I loved it so much. Just the car, the sleekness, all the design. They were able to pull off so many cool features within this little little set. So I was like, okay, this is awesome. I like this little car, so Speed Champion. And this was all I was planning on getting. But then, because I liked it so much, I decided to kind of go all in to Speed Champions. I've gotten all the available Speed Champions that is currently out, except for the new ones that just came out this month. So it's kind of a lot. And let's go through and take a look at every single car. Here we have the 1970 Porsche. Now it is amazing. It's They've pulled off the Porsche features in such a good little way. The only gripe I have about this set is this little X right there. But it makes sense why they did it to achieve the angles and stuff that they were able to do. But overall, it's a good little car. So note, some of these cars are six studs wide. So see, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then some others, like the Ferrari, are going to be eight wide. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And if you take them side by side, you can kind of see how they're wider. So this is the old design of Speed Champions that LEGO did, and now this is the new design of doing them 8-wide. I'm actually a big fan of the 6-wide, but also the 8-wide is good. The biggest thing I would say is the 8-wide, they're able to achieve more detail and make it look more like the supercar, but if you want playability and having a good car to drive around your city, I'd say the 6-wide is better. So these two Dodges came in a two-pack. So we got a Dodge Challenger and a Dodge, um, I forgot. But I guess that goes to show how big of a car fan I actually am. But all I do know is these cars look way cool. So, and they got a little bit of an old fashioned, no, that's not supposed to be there. That was, <laughs> so this one's kind of cool because you're able to pop the hood off and do it however you'd like. You can either have it be nice smooth hood or have it be that, the um, exhaust exhaust vent. So the exhaust vent looks pretty cool. But I just stored this back there. It gives it a, the tail fin. <laughs> it makes it a little better. So these are pretty good. Then we got this Camaro, which actually the sticker job is kind of a little whack with the side. I'm not a fan of the sticker use of this set, but beyond that, I like it. It's a good slick car. It looks a way more like a racing car versus just be this being a nice supercar, just fancy. This one looks like one you'd actually see at NASCAR. Now we have the Ferrari. This is among my favorite that I've gotten. So yeah, I think out of all of it, it's probably my favorite of it because I love Ferrari and it is just a slick design. They actually used very few stickers and I love that they were able to, to achieve the Ferrari look without having to sticker overload it like <laughs> some of these other ones. I'm looking at you guys, these Jaguars, there's so many, but it's great. This two pack of Jaguar, we got more of our racing Jaguar and this is the Jaguar One Pace E Trophy. So I'm not too too into cars that I know that much of what it is, but nevertheless, it looks pretty pretty sweet. Then we have our Formula E Panasonic Jaguar Racing Generation Two car. So this one is definitely a race car. <laughs> so it is pretty sweet. I like the little design. It's a very unique one, comparative to everything else we got. It looks. It gives that classic race vibe. Next up, we have our Nissan GTR, and it's the Nismo. For the racing style cars, I think this one is my favorite of the ones I have. It uses a lot of stickers, but the really important ones like the hood is printed, 
and it gives it's kind of the style I like it looks it looks good and the last one I have is this Audi it's a nice nice little car it's got some fun unique design elements to it it was actually pretty fun to build pretty simple and I don't know much more to say about it we kind of went through all my favorite ones at the beginning these I just got because I could now I think you might be able to see why I stay away from some themes because if I get one of the sets I'm like oh I'm only gonna spend ten dollars on it I ended up spending at least ten dollars on every car but the cool thing is I did get these all on deal for sale on Amazon and most of them still are on sale on Amazon so it's pretty good so that's why I stay away from Technic and the space theme but honestly I've been thinking about getting the space theme or not space like the well it is space but it's not the space theme with all the astronauts and all that. But that's what happens. And hi, Mitten. So, Mitten, would you like to say goodbye for us? As Mitten says, thank you, everyone, for joining, and we'll see you later. Mitten, you got to look at the camera, though. Bye.